Hi everyone, welcome back to Coffee and Commerce with Cascone. Joining me today is Kelsey Brown from the Blue Core team who leads a unique function of the business. Kelsey sits on the sales team, but her role is focused on determining the well-measured business case per retail customer for buying Blue Core. Kelsey, welcome. Thank you, Sarah, for having me today. So as Sarah said, um, I sit on the sales team. I'm the director of solution consulting, but I actually head up the value engineering practice. So what that is, is I spend time understanding what our current state is for our, both our new and existing business and understand where customers want to get to and to quantify the value of the difference. Um, I'm really focused on ROI and really understanding what that value is back to the retailers. So Kelsey, what are the typical value drivers for these retail customers and how did they think about them? Yeah, so we focus on four different value drivers that we want to, whether you're looking at Blue Core or whether you're looking at your MarTech stock, these are the four that really drive a retail business forward. And that is um, generating more revenue from your customers. So making sure you're really focused on that revenue generating machine and making sure that your technology backs that up. Um, another is creating high quality personalized customers experiences. So making sure that personalization is really driving your goals and your initiatives so that you can provide that experience for your customers that's gonna bring them back um, year over year. And then increasing speed and efficiency of marketing workflows and also making sure to reduce cost of your MarTech stock. Um, up until now, many um, retailers use multiple tools um, in order to get what they need done from a marketing perspective. So really looking at where we, can we consolidate and reduce costs to help drive that forward. So it's interesting, how do you kind of talk through this or help an executive break down this relationship in their mind? I think it's at first it's really hard to hone in and have focus on where do we need to focus. There's a lot of metrics, a lot of KPIs when it comes to a marketing stack. Um, so being able to bucket these into those four um, value drivers, but then to also understand how they relate to each other and how that revenue and cost influences ROI and how quality and speed are those levers, we then can focus on what a retailer's priorities are and understand their business objectives to better help us quantify value that is directly related to the business objectives rather than being so tactical and being at that lower level like, you know, this is a challenge, how do we solve it? It's more of like, how do we get to you to your business objectives and how do we use those four value drivers to quantify that? So let's talk more about what you're quantifying here. What are the metrics that actually influence ROI? When we look at a funnel and you, you look at a marketing stack, a lot of metrics that are very familiar to marketers across, whether you're talking about email marketing, on-site personalization, or even paid media, media, you focus on metrics like you know your visitors, your impressions, and then the revenue that is driven from those visitors, from those send messages, or from those impressions. And so you, know, you typically have to look at you know, delivery rate, open rate, click to open, all of these KPIs that directly connect the top of the funnel all the way down to revenue at the bottom of the funnel is typically what met metrics come in and, you know, um, marketers are talking to me about from the get-go. And that's where we start to change and have a paradigm shift of what metrics should we focus on. So talk to me a little bit more about that because these are a lot of metrics. So where should retail marketers focus and why? When you look at the metrics so far up in the funnel, you hit the nail on the head. So you're having to focus on so many metrics in order to influence the bottom of the funnel. And so where the rubber meets the road is really in the middle of the funnel and focusing on engagement and how do we connect engagement to revenue rather than focusing on the top of the funnel and connecting like visitors, sends, impressions to revenue. So by focusing on the middle of the funnel to the bottom of the funnel, like things like click to conversion rate, AOV, 
we can directly influence revenue. Whereas if you're focused on the top of the funnel, your typical metrics that everyone's used to, revenue per email, revenue per impression, those are a lot harder to influence because it's actually five or six KPIs that influence those um, that, that KPI itself. And so when you're focused more in the middle of the funnel, we can hone in and focus on, okay, what do we need to influence and how do we actually drive your revenue up without dealing with the noise of all these other metrics that you're trying to balance? This is really interesting, and I'm sure what you're saying is very relatable to a lot of retail marketers with respect to measuring so many different metrics and not knowing where to look and what levers to pull. This definitely feels like a paradigm shift as you've described it. So how do you approach a conversation like this with executive leaders when they've been operating in this way for so long and investing in tech and operating with tech with all of these metrics in mind? Yeah, that's a very great question. So I think the most important thing is to understand why um, the top of the funnel metrics have been an influence for so long. It, it's been the way that majority of MarTech um, solutions price off of, that's how they're driven. And so it's really driven the market in that direction. What I'm trying to help executives understand is whether you're talking blue core or not, it's actually um, more beneficial for them to be looking at the metrics at the middle of the funnel and to the bottom of the funnel. So regardless of what pricing model you're focused on, you want to be able to influence revenue directly and have control over that. And rather than the marketers, you know, run after tennis balls, being able to have a direct relationship of how is this marketing campaign going to drive revenue? How do we influence it? How do we optimize it? And how do we just drive their overall business objectives? And so it's really slowing down to understand how these metrics relate to each other, why it's important to stop thinking about the top of the funnel. Yes, we need to keep it in mind. We need to understand what those metrics mean to the entire funnel. However, those metrics are not gonna be what directly influences revenue. So how do we focus and hone in on the things that we know will influence revenue and slow down to really understand that? And when I do slow down for that, I think it becomes very easy for people to understand why not just Blue Core is focused on this, but why they should be focused on this and why it's so important in order to quantify the value of their MarTech stack. This type of MarTech measurement is super powerful and comes at a critical juncture when retail brands are quickly shifting to a heavy weight online. How does the adoption of this mindset by retail marketing executives change their conversation with finance, for example, who is a department that is now looking much more closely at the investments that marketing is making? It's a very good question. I spend a lot of time with procurement, VP of finances, and it's actually, it becomes a pretty easy conversation with them. Um, whereas before it was very hard to draw lines or parallels to how these campaigns or how their marketing strategy influences revenue. But because we are able to directly influence revenue and these metrics are so closely tied, VP of finances, procurement, they can see the direct line that we can now create um, towards those metrics and how we will directly rather than indirectly influence revenue. And that direct relationship allows us to do much better forecasting, much better projections. We're able to give them their 30 day, 60 day, 90 day projections that they can feel confident in because there's that direct relationship to how we're influencing revenue. Amazing. And I know many retail marketing executives are using this as a way to drive the path forward. And it's transforming marketing from this cost center to a profit center, which I think is just incredible. So Kelsey, thank you so much for talking us through that today. It was really fun having you on the show. Thank you. And thank you everyone for joining Coffee and Commerce with Cascone. <laughs>